Hatcher. And I'm lost. And together we are confused. totally unprepared for this interview. Totally confused. Uh, today we're going to show you a classic track of ours called Al Barsha, which was released on Sin City Records about... Six, seven years ago? Well, yeah, about six, seven yeah. years ago. So basically, this is a project from, what, 10 years? It's got to be. Yeah, it this is, is, this is. This project's from about 10 years ago. Um, yeah, I, I think it was just jamming in the studio one day. Just come, let's just make something. Let's go real deep today. I tell you mm. what, let's find a nice little. Indian I think child. like you lost your bank card that day, <laughs> and, and we, in the we were like, yeah, we felt a bit. Um, Sounds about right. A bit dark that yeah. day, so we uh, yeah, we, we actually named the project <laughs> "Lost My Bank Card," but this we did rename it. We did rename it. Is, you know, this is the track you may know called Al Barsha. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was it really? We just sat in one day, just. And we're going back time ago, so I think we nicked. A I, f I swear we nicked the vocal off of YouTube. Yeah, we borrowed Probably it. Lightly. Nicked the vocal off of YouTube. Yeah, we found a um, uh, uh, an Arabic sort of um, chanting uh, sort of vocal lick, which actually suited pretty well um, to the sort of vibe we were going for. So, uh, yeah, it's yeah. going a little crazy. This is all the old sounds. This was from some of our early packs that we used. Obviously, with a. So, like, I think this is about seven years old. Then tweaked version. Yeah. But this was originally started. Yeah. But so please bear in mind that uh, we've <laughs> learned a lot. Don't cover yourself. Since. Don't cover yourself, mate. <laughs> Don't cover yourself. So originally uh, we found a loop um, which we liked, um, and we kind of worked from that. We um, found, uh, well, started making a bass line. We started with the idea that let's just find a crazy Indian chant from somewhere. And well, then you went straight in. All right, let's no, find YouTube. No, Terry, I swear it went like that. If I remember rightly. <laughs> The sample was the last thing we added. Was it? Yeah. So we made the we made the bass line. Right. Okay. Yeah, we did. Off yeah, of the did. loop. So uh, this is the loop uh, we found and basically started the project off with. So there's a lot of groove in there. It's a lot of. Uh, yeah, so it's a lovely little loop. A lot of potential. Yeah. We may take out of it. That gave us the, the base of, of where we wanted to start yeah. off with. Um, literally, just EQing on the loop, on the loop because it was just uh, basic uh, back the then, actual loop, which is um, a bit of a pain for uh, most producers. If you find like a loop or, or something that already has some sort of processing on it or yeah, it has really a hard. reverb on it or, you know, maybe echo and delay, you, can, you might be able to chop it out and work with it, but. When it's got reverb and stuff, it's really hard. But luckily, with this loop, it was, uh, nice. it was perfect. Yeah, it, was it, was, nice. it had its own reverb on it, so yeah. and it worked. So we, we stuck with it. The only thing it. the only thing we done was just EQ out on the uh, the lows on it, so it didn't clash really with the rest of the beat. I'm glad you're remembering all this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we picked an old one, but yeah, no, it worked. It worked sick, didn't it? Yeah. So it. I tend to use like the uh, built-in in-house FL Studio plugins, um, only because I've learned how to use them, um, and I'm comfortable that way. That's how I started. Um, and you know, there's many other plugins in there that do exactly the same. It's just what I like, um, particularly with this EQ. It's visual. So any frequencies you'll see on the spectrum, and that is that's why I like using it because I can see the sound. It's I can always see, been straightforward for us. Yeah, I can see Seasons. what I'm cutting out. I can see what's high, what's mm. you know. And we still use the same one now. Mm -hmm. ten, ten I do use others. Yeah, 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 but yeah, we, yeah. But, but we, to jump too quick. When it comes to yeah. the go-to EQ, FL Studio is built in one all the way. Yeah, it does yeah. the job. So, uh, next stage, what was next? Well, bass line, come on bruv. It was a bass line, <laughs> wasn't it? Well, well no, actually, no, cause no, because up. that loop wasn't strong enough. I remember that loop no, wasn't strong enough to, to kind of build We added a few bits to it, cleaned it up, EQ'd it. Yeah, so let me and grab a we went, through, we went through some bass riffs. We were sitting there for like half hour, an hour, getting different bass patterns up. That's where we was. So, without blocking the view. Just see. Showing them some old school history dubstep. <laughs> Right, let me mute the other side. It sounded so much better in these days, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just going to mute the other sound so we can kind of break it down into pieces. Let's take out the chant. We'll leave the loop in there. And the other percussions we'll take out. Okay. Oh, do 
it like that. And then mute the bass. Right, so that's the loop there. So as you can hear, we've got the original loop, what we started with. Uh, with its own reverb on, um, EQ, so we took out all the lows. Um, and then we started to add a bit of bump on there, so we wanted some kicks, Give it some body, a bit yeah. snares, you know. So I um, found a nice kick, if I can find it right here. And that just gave it, it, it just Give matched it some it. shoulders, yeah, so you can put some weight in it. Yeah. Something else. And the other ones. Just, yeah, gives you a little basis on it, you know. In regards to the drum rolls as well, with dubstep, there's so many different patterns within the 140 that people use. Mm, yeah. You know, we've, you can, we've got like the half steppy pattern, the 4 4 pattern, there's so many different triplets, triplets got, everything. Know, yeah. But I think we, we just come straight, we, we, this one just went straight in, Chris, didn't it? Well, I think we had a few little issues with different ideas that we was humming about and whatever. But I think this was the final yeah. one, you went, no, this is the one actually, let's just roll this. Yeah, the, 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 reason, the reason we um, we decided to put the kicks where they are is because it followed the loop and, um, you know, it, it made sense to put the kicks there. If you put them mm. anywhere else and it wouldn't it follow, you know. The and, swing that was already there. Yeah, the, the loop swing of the loop and that particular swing is a typical, mm. it's got that, you know. I mean, usually you'd have a doom. Yeah, doom. The straightforward Just swear. straight, but that's yeah. just got a little bit more, you know. Yeah. Set the swing off nice. Yeah, just give After it a bit that, of a swing. After that, it gave us kind of a path to go with. We kind of knew what the idea was going to... Once we had that kind of swing just from the loop we had yeah. and the kicks and whatever, and after everything was beefed up a bit, it kind of gave us a bit of an idea. All right, let's go kind of tribal with this. And then it was a YouTube hunt. Mm -hmm. Boom. Well, Boom. yeah, after adding, like, obviously... The other little bits and bobs, yeah. More percussion. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, we uh, found some... Nice crashes and hi hats. So there's a little closed hat there. I mean, all of them have uh, the same reverb on, um, only because it just it, it it glued everything together really to to use like the similar reverbs on on the uh, tracks. Um, but. Like I say, this was a long time ago. This was like nearly seven Some years old ago. old school so, programming. Yeah, the techniques are, like we used on this track, we might not ne necessarily use today. Now, yeah, nowadays. Um, As you can see, look, you've opened up to a kick or whatever you've opened up to, it, and that's how many, you know, we've got EQ, reverb added to that sound. Whereas nowadays, there'd be layers there sometimes. Mm, yeah, it all depends so, on the sound so and how much you need to process. Yeah. Um, if a sound's really dry, um, then, that, I mean, that's a good thing if it sounds really dry because then you've got a lot more you can do with it. You've got a lot more, you know, things you can mess around yeah, with. Right. You know, you can, you can compress it without worrying about the reverb that's been attached to it um, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we, we, were, we, were, we were good with these samples. Uh, we didn't really want to process them too much because they had a natural sound, yeah. a good natural sound anyway, and it all fit in with with the loop, mm. uh, they were they all fit together. So uh, there wasn't a lot of processing that we had Hell. to do with these. Um, yeah, with these with, with, with this percussion. So, so I'm going to play the sounds that I've laid on top of the loop to show you what it sounds like without the loop, basically. And with the loop. There's the extras. And there you have it. So that's the main that's bit the of the percussion um, of, of our bar show. Okay, so next uh, we have the bass line. Uh, my most favorite part. Um, this is the uh, plug-in Albino, uh, number three by Rob Pappen. Um, and this is what we used to make this bass line. Oh no, that's not the bass line. <laughs> um. We will find it. You yeah. see it somewhere. Do you know why it's not playing? 
Muted. Muted. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So, this is the bass line we used with Rob. Um, it was an old preset of mine. Um, you'll be able to see on the screen, dark, pulsy bass. Um, and that is something I messed with just... Uh, Many moons ago. Yeah, and then we yeah. brought it back up and... Give we, it a little bit of... Yeah, revamped it basically it. to to fit um to fit the track yeah just gave it it's a pretty simple bass line to be honest it's just um it's just the way it shapes mm. to give it that nice and that is basically a mixture of uh, pitch bends and <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm yeah. gonna tell you exactly how to pitch but, bend it a lot. but i mean you'll be able to figure yeah. it out it's, it's basically um it's it's a, it's a normal sign so if i take away the bend on it I mean, it still has a natural bend inside the actual, you can still hear a, it, it's mm, got yeah. a twang to it anyway, but with the added bend on it. Different, different ball game. Yeah, it steps it up a bit, it gives it a, it, 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 yeah, it steps up the bass, it, it, it starts up a, a higher note and then drops mm. down more. Um, yeah. Once you're playing, once you're, you're adding to the loop that you've built and you create it, you kind of, you follow different paths. You, but it's trial and error to a certain degree because we, we go one way and we'll be listening and we're like, yeah, that sounds right. And then we stumble across something else and we're like, hmm. Yeah. It's gone that way now. We're, so it is, You could be working would, on a loop for mm. five minutes and get bored of it. Yeah. Or you, you know, and that will change your mind and change the whole loop. And exactly. it has done and ten like, times. No, I've got to change the whole key, the whole melody, you know, how it's played. And... Um, there's no real formula, I don't think. Well, for mm. me anyway, I don't have a formula when it comes to, you know, when, when we when we make music, we don't yeah. we don't sit down and, and say, say oh, right, we're going to do we're gonna this. start this first. We're going to start on the drums no. first. It's it's whatever we, it's whatever sound we find at the time. It to could be a bass off, yeah. straight away. It could be it could be a kick. It could be just a yeah. kick or a drum or on its own. Wow, that's a lot of like kick. Yeah. Let's go in on it. Um, so yeah, it's whatever we find at the time. Like if if we hit any, it could be a sample, a, a mm. little a, a stab or anything. Um, a little bit of ping, yeah. Oh, no, though, yeah. Like that, I like that sound, mm. it sounds really good. And then you just work off that and build off that, you know? Like, if you like that sound, then, then you know, if it's a ting or, or, or a little, I don't know, pluck of some sort, if you like that sound, make a melody off it. And then, right, see, well, we need drums. We need to build next, yeah. the drums around the melody. So it's got, you mm. know, groove. So it, it, it it's all, you know, blends in and, and comes together. So there's no real formula, I don't think. I don't think there should be a formula. Oh, there, there, obviously, there's. There's people out there that go and go, right, I know exactly what I'm going to do today. I suppose that's if, 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 you're, if you've got a routine of like how you make and music, it works. that's your routine. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're comfortable with starting with the drums first, then that's cool. That's fine. Mm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah and it, started coming, it's, it started coming together nice, didn't it? Mm. Okay. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. If you want to catch part two, make sure you grab a copy of the magazine. It's in all your local stores. Well, that's the plan anyway. <laughs>